worship how worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and divinity and wisdom in strength and honor. In Him belong glory and power forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good morning. Amen. As we gather together, on the Lord's table, let us acknowledge our sins that we may be worthy to celebrate this sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what they have done and what they have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Steer up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord that is striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, looked at there, looked and there was a lamb standing on Mount Zion, and with him a hundred and forty-four thousand, who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. I heard a sound from heaven, like the sound of rushing waters or a loud peal of thunder. The sound I heard was like that of a harpist playing their harps. They were singing what seemed to be a new hymn before the throne, before the four living creatures and the elders. No one could learn this hymn except the 144,000 who had been ransomed from the earth. These are the ones who follow the Lamb wherever he goes. They have been ransomed as the first fruits of the human race for God and the Lamb. On their lips, no deceit has been found. They are unblemished. The word of the Lord. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that long to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it, for he founded, he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that long to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, this is the people that long to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seek for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. The Lord, this is the people that long to see your face. Alleluia. 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 Stay awake, for you do not know when the Son of Man will come.
The Lord be with you. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When Jesus looked up, he saw some wealthy people putting their offerings into the treasury, and he noticed a poor widow putting in two small coins. He said, I tell you truly, this poor widow put in more than all the rest, for those others have all made offerings from their surplus wealth. But she, from her poverty, has offered her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. She offered her whole livelihood. To live in poverty, deprived of life's necessities, is not a value. Human persons created in God's image are to have a dignified existence. Yet Jesus declares those blessed in God's kingdom whose lot is actual poverty caused by circumstances or persecution if they remain generous even in their need. In both the Gospels of Luke and Mark, we read with the poor widow who contributed her two small coins to the temple treasury. Jesus notes that her widow's might has great value because it is a sincere contribution coming from her heart. Others make contribution only from their surplus wealth. In Jesus' perspective, one is blessed if, even in the face of personal needs, one still looks to the needs of others. Poverty is not limited only to material needs. There is poverty of being lonely, abandoned, unwanted, or rejected by society. Even an ordinary poor person can show neighborly love, compassion, and human tenderness, and generosity. Jesus promises that the merciful, may they be rich or poor, will be shown mercy. As Pope Francis said, the widow in the gospel is an image of the church, which must be poor, humble, and faithful. God bless us. Prayers of the faithful. With confidence, we now bring our needs, however large or small, to our loving God. Our church leader, may the Holy Spirit continue to strengthen them in shepherding their flock. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For leaders throughout the world, may God bless their efforts to end hatred and violence, let us pray to the Lord. For those facing persecution for the sake of righteousness, may the Father grant them strength and comfort, let us pray to the Lord. For this faith community, may the love of Christ help us to sow seeds that bear much fruit, let us pray to the Lord. For our beloved dead, <clears throat> may they live forever in the joy of heaven with all the angels and saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord 
This morning, this Mass is offered for all the living members of the Muscat family. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Heavenly Father, we ask that you graciously hear these prayers we bring before you in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, this earth has given, and human hands have made. It will become for us a bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Let us all pray now that this, our sacrifice of bread and wine, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord. For our good and good of all this, Jesus. Accept, O Lord, these sacred offerings, which at your bidding we dedicate to your name, and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love, Grant us unfailing obedience to your commands. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created men, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeem him through Christ, O Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. And may our voices, we pray, join others in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, Lord God, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, 
when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be course to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. By the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. To the King. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. peace be. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, with faith in your love and mercy, we eat your body and drink your blood. Let them not bring us condemnation, but health in mind and body. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, 
Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, that the worthy to sit down there and die. But then to say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you. We ask this through Christ the Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. A good day to all.